Okay, here we are once again with Azus, and this time I want you to introduce yourself to everybody out there and let them know what you actually do, what your primary thing is at Azus, because you've been my contact multiple times. Yeah, multiple we, go, we go back a long time. So yeah, let the, let the people out there know who you are. I'm a technical marketing manager for Asus. My name is Nick, and uh, I take care of all media relationships, I take care of product guides, I take care of any kind of technical uh, marketing messaging uh, going on for our motherboards, our graphics cards, uh, and other components that we get. Awesome, and now we're going to be taking a look at their brand new Matrix card. And this thing is like what a completely AIO video card, yeah, right? This is an a AIO first video card, card first time. time. So Nick shows us this and thing is because I gotta say it's like exciting AIO in a video card. Sure, that so, just sounds insane. Like how do you even do that? From the outside, it looks like a, your standard kind of triple slot or 2.7 slot card. Yeah, it does. It looks just like a big card. This it does is, not look like there's any room inside this for an AIO. This, this has been something that's been in development for well over two years and a couple of GPU generations and, and something that we've uh, finally mastered and, and going to release now in, in the next few months. Uh, like Elric mentioned, uh, I'm going to go ahead and open it up here. You're going to get the entire uh, water cooling unit under the shroud itself so typically you would have to mount uh, the radiator up to the case somewhere and, and have that tubing here we have radiator we have the tank we have more radiators so you have almost a 240 millimeter radiator we have the pump all integrated and a look at that cold plate look at the plate so normally this is the size of a cold plate that you would get in uh, a, a CPU or a GPU uh, all-in-one cooler yours is bigger Nick and then this is the, the cold plate that we've developed so it's it's on the RAM with some thermal pads. Uh, we factory overclock the RAM as well because of that and the ability to cool. Yeah, so it's able to cool not only the GPU but its surrounding components as well. Yep. And this is amazing all in one card. It's just insanely crazy. I didn't, you know what? I didn't even think that anybody would actually ever probably even do anything like this. I haven't even thought about something like this. Heck, that is just amazing. And it, you know, it really does not weigh that much more than some of the other, you know, big cards that I've seen from, you know, companies out there in the world. This really isn't that much heavier. It's a little bit heavier, but uh, if you're going to be mounting it like it is in this case, it's not going to really matter because you're not going to get any, any, you know, yeah. any kind of any kind of sagging whatsoever. A lot of cases come with like the vertical mounting options now, so you can do that. So what is this anyway? Since we're here, this thing just looks totally cool too. I totally like all that memory. So this is a totally tricked out system. We have our ROG Dominus Extreme that you're going to be seeing soon. Uh, probably in the next few months, uh, maybe in the next month or two on, on reviews, Intel is doing the sampling on this. Uh, and then the Matrix 2080 Ti, we have our G-Scale Trident, of course, that are blinged out. And, uh, it looks like diamonds. Yeah. Doesn't it? It's just like an like early diamonds. 2000s rap video, maybe. Totally. <laughs> and we're here at Zeus, and we're doing a thing with the memory memory that looks like diamonds and yeah. bling. At the bottom, you can see we have our new Thor 1200-watt PSU, so it's uh, it based on this hammer? Seasonic Platinum. Uh, and give you the readout of the wattage that you're having. So we tricked out the Seasonic, the best Seasonic. We tricked out and upgraded uh, everything about it and added an OLED. That's really neat. It's a very nice system. Who built this system for you guys? Uh, I, don't, I don't know that I have that info yet. Uh, sorry. Well, there you have it, though. The first AIO video card in the Asus Matrix. Not bad at all, huh?